Did you ever wake up and think to yourself, thank God it's Monday? Well, don't you want to? Here's how positive psychology and the latest science of flourishing can help transform your work. Positive psychology has shown that positive emotions are linked with numerous benefits, including improved health, well-being, longevity, and a greater quality of life. Given that we spend on average half of our waking hours at work, many organizations and business leaders are increasingly acknowledging the importance of using psychological techniques and know-how in the workplace. So whether you're an employee, a manager, or a CEO, fostering positivity will improve performance, motivation, engagement, conflict resolution skills, and original thinking. So how exactly do we do it? Professor Martin Seligman, one of the founders of Positive Psychology, has developed an evidence-based model for the ingredients of well-being known as PERMA. PERMA stands for Positive Emotions, Engagement, Relationships, Meaning, and Accomplishment. We'll go through them. Let's start with positive emotions. People thrive when they're happier. When people are in a brighter mood, they set higher goals and persist longer towards them. So how do we make people happier? When people are instructed to count their blessings, there is increased activity in the part of their brain associated with happiness. And some organizations have adapted these ideas in innovative ways, for example by listing appreciations at the beginning of staff meetings. So someone could say, my appreciation is for Sarah. Last week she stayed back to show me how to complete my spreadsheets, and since then I've been finishing them on time. Cool stuff, right? Let's move on. How about relationships? The greatest way to influence our happiness is to invest in our relationships. We are hardwired to connect with others, and these connections have the power to affect how we feel. In a recent survey by Virgin, almost 40% of the participants named their colleagues as the top reason they enjoy their work and two-thirds said not only did those relationships increase their productivity, but it helped deal with stressful and difficult challenges at work. So get to know the person sitting next to you. Scott Cabtree, a renowned and experienced leader at Intel, suggests that a Pecha Kucha presentation could help break the ice. In Japanese, Pecha Kucha means chit-chat, in it's a specific format of presentation. Usually each person brings 20 slides with just pictures on them, and they have 20 seconds to explain each slide. But the rule is that people can only share things about their lives outside of work. So what happens is that immediately people start treating others less like competitors and more like collaborators. Next off is engagement. Now the formula for building engagement is to maximize the extent to which people are using and applying their strengths. Studies suggest that up to 70% of professionals who actively use their strengths on a daily basis report feeling more engaged and energized by their work. Start meetings with an opportunity to share success stories, however big or small. Give people the opportunity to share their successes, achievements, and accomplishments with you, as well as sharing your own. To find out what your signature strengths are and more on this topic, visit viacharacter.org. Let's explore meaning. Adam Grant, author and professor at Wharton, created a very cool experiment into team productivity. Working with call center staff, employed to gather donations for university scholarships, he arranged for the staff to meet with an actual beneficiary of a scholarship. The meeting was only five minutes, just long enough to ask some questions and put a face to a name. This team went on to raise three times more money and record consistently longer and more engaged conversations with potential donors. Now what's the lesson here? Looking for the impact of our efforts in the lives of others can make work incredibly more rewarding. Accomplish. Leaders can support accomplishment 
by asking strengths-based questions. So for example, tell me about a time when you really outdid yourself. Which strengths or talents do you think helped you achieve this outcome? Coaching your staff can be as simple as taking an interest in their strengths and exploring more ways to apply them towards goals or professional development challenges. Regularly setting goals at an individual team and organizational level is critical for productivity and happiness. Goals can provide us with an intrinsic sense of engagement, motivation, and connection. But the sustainable source of happiness is enjoying each step that propels us towards the finish line. So the key lies in learning to enjoy each aspect of the journey towards our goals. Another tip to work with goals is to make them meaningful. So try to connect your goals with your values and strengths and you're more likely to feel happier and perform better. Reward yourself. Our ability to celebrate our own accomplishments as well as those of others is also an important aspect that enables us to flourish in the workplace. Rewards activate the pleasure pathways in our brain even when they're self-induced. To be effective, they don't have to be big or expensive. In fact, a number of studies have found that small rewards can make people more generous, friendly, and happy, as well as more productive and accurate in their work. But do make sure that the rewards you're offering are in line with what the staff wants. And while all these ideas may sound simple and common sense, too often they're not common practice. By offering positivity, engagement, connection, meaning, and acknowledgement, you can create an inspired and motivated workforce that are not only happy to be at work, but excited to contribute to the company at large. In the words of Sean Aker, the better your brain is at using its energy to focus on the positives, the greater your chances at success. If you want more positive psychology tools and resources, check out our Positive Psychology Practitioner's Toolkit. I hope you're more excited about your Mondays.